स्वभावचिन्मयानंदम कृपा पूर्णम जगत्पति हरिषडर्गजेतारम नित्यानंद गुरु भजे स्वभावचिन्मयान मेबी दिस फ्यू क्वेश्चंस देन द नेक्स्ट सूत्र सिंस आवर सोसाइटी इज एट लीस्ट partly controlled by politics how do we as spiritual beings exist as part of our society can we be both political and spiritual beings yes understand politicians may not be spiritual beings but spiritual beings can be tolerate can be with politics there won't be a problem spirituality gives you such a open understanding and vast inner space you will be able to accommodate you will be able to accommodate even those things that is not a problem this age old problem all fight in the planet earth is between politicians and the religious people that's all when you become spiritual neither politician nor religious person fights there were few spiritual kings never fought like akbar and so many during the akbar's time never hindus felt threatened that was one great beautiful thing akbar's contribution same way the religious side also there were some people who were supposed to become politicians became religious people they always created fight wars so it's a spiritual essence if it is not imbibed whether you are a religious leader or politician you will create fight if you imbibe that even if you are a politician you won't create fight and the first chief advisor of akbar his name is maheshwara in course of time is yes, they started calling him as a birbal no is is a brahmin from a nearby village and his name is maheshwara for a quite a long time the record was saying his name only as maheshwara even if you see the akbar's court record it says only as maheshwara he receives salary every month the court document says his name as only as maheshwara and if you read his stories very intelligent wise advisor he was depicted more like a joker but he is not a joker intelligent advisor and if you read his history it says his name is a from a brahmin family and his name is maheshwara and his period was like a golden period like ashoka and akbar mm. one area the ashoka created a golden period because of buddhist enlightenment buddhist knowledge he had a buddhist knowledge i don't know whether he is enlightened by himself but surely he had a buddhist enlightened masters guiding him and same way akbar akbar created a golden period because he had a brahmin very intelligent brahmin as a guide is last night sutra also a word to, way to learn function on 2 to 3 hours of sleep a day i need that in order to be closer to you 2 <laughs> to 3 hours sleep happens as a by product of psychological revolution when a intensity comes to you so much of love to do something or to enjoy something happens to you suddenly sleep reduces that's all if you are if you have something which is more interesting than sleep naturally sleep will reduce <laughs> most of our life there is nothing much <laughs> interesting than sleep so we decide let us lie down <laughs> since bondage and liberation is relative why not just eat drink and be merry <laughs> perfectly all right be intense that's all eat intensely when you are eating only eating when you are sleeping just sleeping when you are drinking only drinking when you are in merry just be in merry if you can be in merry you don't need anything else the whole problem is because you can't be in merry 
That is why you need <laughs> so much of teachings and the ideas about liberation. See, that's what, here you think, why not just eat, drink and be merry? You think it is very easy. No. Are, what else do you think I am doing? I have been given this throne just because I eat, drink and be merry. <laughs> the problem is, you can't be in merry, that is why you drink non-thing, uh, things which are not directly needed to your body, which can't be accepted by your body. If you can just be in merry, you don't need what you mean here as a drink. Because I am constantly being in Mary, just little water is enough. Drinking water is more than enough for me to be in Mary. I don't need <laughs> anything else to be in Mary. Understand? Sometime the master's words should be understood com completely with intense clarity, not superficially. Eat, drink and be merry is not as a simple thing as you understand, as you think. If you do that same thing intensely, that's perfectly alright. You are, you heard my words without intensity. That is why you are thinking what you think as a simple thing is what is meant by that word. Listen intensely and live, do all these three. Eating, drinking and being in merry. Do all these three intensely. You won't have a problem. Me. One small story about this intensity and understanding. After 25 years of mar married life, one day wife discovers when she was going through the dryer of husband in his room, three soybeans and three bean and the $30 cash. She goes to him and asks with a lot of curiosity, what is this? Why three soybean and $30 cash? Why? How, how it came? What is the meaning? He says, now I have to confess to you, whenever I cheated on you, I put one soybean in that. She said, 25 years, okay. Then what about $30 cash? No, no, whenever soybean was $10 per kg, I sold it. <laughs> Understand? <laughs> Understand with intensity. <laughs> if you understand only about three soybean, it is okay. But you have to understand about $30 also. <laughs> so, <laughs> eat, drink and be merry. <laughs> This three word, if you understand it just like three soybean, <laughs> you will not be able to understand the truth. You have to see the $30 behind it. <laughs> Only then, <laughs> you will understand the truth. You will understand what is liberation. Mm.